There's been a pretty sharp increase in developers being targeted. We've seen this all this year. And this is because attackers, especially state-sponsored attackers, has figured out that developers are a really juicy target. They have privileged access. If you can compromise their machines, you can obviously try and get to things like secrets, credentials, access into cloud infrastructure. You can try and poison packages and conduct supply chain attacks. Developers are really the key to what could be the worst case scenario type of attack. We've seen this a lot in phishing campaigns, targeting developers with poison packages, and now we're seeing it with malvertising. Now, malvertising is malware through advertising. And essentially, when you searched for GitHub desktop, the top result was for a malicious page. But here's the kicker. When you look at the URL of the advertisement, it said github.io. And when you went to it and you looked at the domain that you were at, you were on github.io. And that is because GitHub allows you to create something called GitHub Pages. And that's what this was. It was an attacker-owned page that just happened to be hosted at the GitHub domain. But this makes it increasingly difficult to spot malvertising campaigns because when you're looking at it and you're looking at the URL, when you advertise it, Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo, all allow you to put in a custom domain if you want. So it looks much more legitimate. Once you landed on this page, it looks exactly like what you would expect a GitHub page to look like, a fancy ass download button that's going to compromise your machine.